Hey guys, I'm Chef Sarah and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm so excited to cook pulled pork in a crock pot with you guys. I know fall is the season where you can do a lot of outdoor cooking. You can make pulled pork on your smoker, but it's also one of those seasons where we're very busy with the holidays and football. And so this is a recipe that I love because it's no fuss. I actually started making it when I was a private chef and I'd cook for these wonderful athletes and celebrities during the day come home and guess what? I wouldn't have anything for it myself. So I love this recipe. It's kid friendly. It literally cooks itself. So let's get started. So today we're in the kitchen with Pioneer Foods. This is a great Texas brand. They're down in San Antonio, which is where I had my first personal chef job. And they've come out with this great smoky pulled pork rub. You guys know that I talk about the grocery store rubs are not great. Um, I know that they are really inexpensive, but rubs by, you know, classic famous pit masters are often a lot better. However, when they sent me this product, I was so impressed. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't have overly too much sugar or salt. I taste cumin, cayenne pepper, just a little, not too much to overload the little ones. Um, we've got some paprika, brown sugar, things like that in here. It's really well balanced. And the thing that I like about it is that classic pork rubs that are gonna go on the smoker, they don't have any smoky flavor because they're thinking you're going to provide that. This rub does have that smoky flavor. So you guys need to check it out. I'm in love with it. So now for our pork, I have a Boston butt because you know, sometimes you just have to use whatever you find at Sam's or Costco. You can use a pork butt or a pork shoulder with this recipe. They're both from kind of the same part of the animal. The butt is a little higher up and some have bones and some do not. And so this recipe is not affected by uh, any of those changes. So I'm just gonna open it up and pull it out for you. And it's gonna go directly in the crock pot here. This has a bone in, that'll provide a little bit of extra flavor for us. Now we're gonna add in two cups of cola. Now, whenever I would make this, whenever I never was having any food, I'd work for a client all day and come home to nothing. I tried every cola. So you can use Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, ginger ale, root beer, whatever you like. And it's gonna add some flavor, but a lot of it we're gonna pour off with any of the grease that'll accumulate over eight hours. So just know that you can kind of customize that. And it's gonna be two cups right in the crock pot. Now I'm gonna take our smoky pork rub. Here we go, just the whole package, and it's gonna go right on top. It's so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna turn it on. You can do this um, on the really high, fast setting for about four to five hours, or you can do it on the lower setting and it can go all day. I actually cooked mine all night and it was perfect. Okay, so we can cook this for eight hours at the medium setting, or if you wanna cook it at the high setting, sometimes you can get it done in about four to five hours. I just like to turn it on, go to work, come back eight hours later, and it ends up looking like this. This looks so cool. So the best part is because we sprinkled that spice mix on top, we've got these pieces that look like bark because that is where all the spice rub collected and it's very authentic. It reminds me a lot of the pulled porks that I smoke outside. So now what you wanna do, I'm gonna pull it out and we're gonna drain a little bit of the grease off. You probably don't have to do this, but I think the final quality of the dish is much better when we get a little bit of this grease off. Now I'm gonna try to leave just a little bit, just a little bit inside because we're gonna add a little bit of moisture. We need a little bit of moisture. We're gonna add one cup of barbecue sauce now. So you can use any brand that you like. Just gonna pour it in. You can just eyeball it. Okay, so now I just take a fork or two forks and just kind of mix it around. You're mixing that barbecue sauce into the pulled pork. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. And that is it. Now we have all of this gorgeous pulled pork. And we didn't really do anything, you guys. Do you realize how little fuss this recipe is? I need to have a little bite though. I need one for me. Okay, as someone who is always outside, 
actually smoking pulled pork. That's delicious and I wasn't even here all day. This cooked for seven to eight hours while I was out today. And you come home and it's ready to go. So how can you use this? Okay, we can put it on Hawaiian rolls. We can make little sliders with it. I love pulled pork nachos. If you guys make nachos, instead of ground beef, use your pulled pork, delicious. We also can make pulled pork quesadillas. We'll just use the pulled pork, a flour tortilla, and a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. You know, you just flip that around just like a regular quesadilla. So there's a lot of options and any meat that's left over can be frozen for the next time you don't feel like cooking. So as usual, guys, the recipe is gonna be right down below. You can also get a printable recipe on urbancowgirllife.com. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps more people find us. And of course, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe so that we can cook together again. I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.